Hey there, welcome to the night edition of No Fluff Salesforce. My name is Cam. Today we are diving in. We are going to be building the infrastructure of the app. We're going to start at the ground and build our way to the sky. Today we are talking about the schema. That means the objects, the fields that we're going to need for this app. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my screen and let's get to it. So last week we had talked about this mock-up, you know, of product love, this idea where sales reps are going to be able to submit features requested by, by the buyers. And then those will aggregate into some sort of a dashboard where an admin will be able to view those and you know, prioritize new features based on the feedback that they're given. So I've gone ahead and drawn up some, some objects that we'll need. We'll only need two objects. So the first thing that we'll need is a feature object, an object that will store the name of the feature and a description of the feature, along with some other details. So let me make this a little bit bigger. Maybe this is hard to see. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> As you can see, you know, this is one feature right here. Some attributes on this you can see are like the name of the feature. There's a number of opportunities or votes this has gotten, the amount of dollars in play, the amount of dollars lost, a status, and a description. For the feature object, there's only three fields that we really need to store. We will talk about this number later and these dollar amounts and how those are going to come into play. But we really only need to store the name of the feature and the status and the description. And you'll see later on, you know, right here, here's a kind of a zoomed in view of what the admin will see. There's some other things here like uh, the, the name of the person that submitted it, that's automatically stored by Salesforce, so we actually don't need to create that field. Let me show you the schema. So look, we have the features object, name created by description status. These two are going to come built in. We're not going to add those, but these two we're going to need to add. And then there's this what I'm calling the story object, and a story is... Um, kind of the scenario that a certain client, user, buyer is going through. So it, this is a description of the feature, while this right here is a description of what that client is experiencing. Anything that's unique to that client we want to put there. And that's what, you know, that's what the rep submits. So in that object, in the story object, we're just going to have the story itself, which is going to be... Um, let me just edit this. This is actually going to be rich text along with this right here. We want the ability to add, you know, I, the italics, bold, any sort of those, you know, text enhancements, and then a master detail relationship to the opportunity and a master detail relationship to the feature. And once we have these master detail relationships in place, that makes a lot of things really easy. Number one, we can start to aggregate. So we can aggregate the number of opportunities on a given feature by drilling into the number of stories on that. Um, we can get the, the total dollar amount in play by querying um, all opportunities off of stories where the opportunity is not closed and then lost, you know, querying all the opportunities where the the opportunity is closed and has not been won. And we can grab those dollar amounts and show and show them in aggregate. Um, another great thing about the master detail relationship is if we ever delete an opportunity, the story goes with it, which kind of makes sense. We don't want a lingering story of an opportunity that isn't in our system anymore. Same with the feature. If you delete a feature, like if a feature should have never been created, but there's an opportunity linked to that. We want that story to just automatically disappear. 
because that story is irrelevant. So without further ado, let's just go in and make these. Uh, here I have my dev org. So I'm going to start by creating a custom object. So we're going to start by naming this feature. And the plural is features. It does not start with a vowel. We're going to go ahead and leave a lot of these blank. Um, I'm going to allow reports and activities. Let's just do that. Okay. So we have a feature object. That was pretty easy. Now for fields and relationships. We only need two fields, remember. We need the description and the status. Let's start with the description. That's a rich text. We're going to call this description. And for these, we're just going to accept the defaults for now. Okay, and the last one is the pick list, that is the status. So, we'll call it status. And the, the pick list items we have are new, planned, in progress and complete. Okay. And when you're doing these, you know, we're kind of going through quickly just for the sake of the, the, the training, but you might want to go through and consider for your app which of those, you know, there's a lot of options when setting up fields and objects that you might want to consider depending on the use case for your app. So our second object is the story. Stories. We're also going to allow reports on that one. Okay, the fields we are going to need story, rich text, opportunity, and feature, both of those last two being master detail. Let's start with the rich text again. So not to be confused with the story object, this is the actual story. detail. Let's start with the opportunity. We're just going to leave the field named opportunity, child relationship name stories. That's great. Um, child records can be reparented to other parent records after they are created. We're going to allow reparenting on both of these master detail relationships. And the reason being there, um, I'm thinking, you know, not in the scope of this course, but in a future course, maybe we could have the ability for a product manager to go in and merge two features together. So in order to do that, we'd have to create a new or an existing feature and delete the old feature and take all those stories and put it on the existing feature. And in that case, it would just be kind of a hassle if we had to create all new, um, all, all new records for the story object rather than just reparenting those. So this one is related to the story or no, sorry, to the, the feature.
Okay. So we did it. That's basically it. Um, now with that in place, next week we're going to talk about building out our controllers, our Apex classes that will handle all the querying of of this information. So um, be prepared with that. Again, I'm going to link to this mock-up. You can have a look at that. Uh, I'll link to this document as well so you can see the schema that we've just created. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe. If this video helped you, please like the video. Um, every little bit helps. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this course. Have a great night well, or day.